sometimes I feel um, energy within myself. It's softness, it's um, peace, joy, and it's, um, I would, if I would put a, put a name to it, I would say it's my soul, uh, but I don't know. I met you before in India, so I know a bit what you're saying, and I just wanted to double check, is it okay to, to feel this? And it's just what you were saying that I don't identify myself and, and I'm not saying this nice feeling is myself, but that I surrender to it and I'll be grateful to experience it. And that's it. This nice feeling that you're speaking about, I'm assuming is a feeling of sort of peace and quietness and centeredness right? That is exactly what a state of being surrendered is. It's not about saying, I am that. It's about an experience that you're experiencing. This, this, Christine, is experiencing that. There's a difference between saying, I am that, and saying, this is experiencing that. Surrender means to see that. Because the moment you identify and say, I am that, then what is that I which is that? It is the ego, it can't be anything else. But if you simply are in the state of quiet and surrender, one doesn't have to conceptualize everything into, into oblivion and deconstruct everything into words that then make no sense. What is being said here simply is, if you have the experience of thisness and peace and a centeredness, it's just beautiful. It's, it's what life is about, to be in that state, you know, as much as possible. When I speak about this ego identification, with thatness, that is more in the context of those who actually have this feeling that they are that simply because they detach from everything around. So it's a detaching and then this experience of I am that, but what happens is that no transformation is happening. So all those things that caused the problems in the first place, from which the person is retracting, get worse, so that when they are back into that state, it's even worse than it was before. I don't believe that that's what you are speaking about. You're speaking about a simple state of... of, yeah, of just of, of, of joyousness and peace and centeredness. And that's how life should be led in every moment. So it's, you know what I mean? If I feel like this, there isn't anybody else. Of course, I can think about someone who is surrendering, but actually it is only a, a present, present feeling. Yeah, it's presentness, but it's thisness. When I speak about surrendering, I'm not speaking about someone who's surrendering. These are, these are sort of steps, stepping around the ego. So many modern pop spiritual systems speak about, I am that. I identify with the, the, the consciousness. I am the consciousness. Who is this I that is the consciousness? Where is such a statement even coming from? That is what I question, because it is a, an attempt at forcing a non-dual state where there is no experience of non-dual, because when there is an experience of non-dual, the entire being is in surrender. It can't even say, I am that. It can't say anything. It just is. As, as you said, there is no this surrendering to that, but just isness. 
but it's not an I am that experience. It's not even an I am experience. It just is. And it's this, and it's eyes open, and it's present, and it's connected with the other, not detached. There is no detachment from everything around, but a connect, an embracing of everything, in a presentness and in a thisness state. So when I look at you, I don't see someone detached and in a glass house and sort of walking one foot above the ground, which is what I've seen by the thousands in the subcontinent, but also in Europe, also in America, mainly seekers who are in this, in this idea of I am that, all this has nothing to do with me. I'm in a quiet, peaceful, centered state. I don't see that in your case, else I would say it. I see someone who's quite present, which is what this whole discourse is about, because those who have that ego experience, and it's 99 out of 100 who have it, it's a very different vibration. There is a clear detachment from that which is causing them pain, rather than a transformation of the circumstances that are causing that pain in the first place. So the peace that is experienced is, a, is, a, is an ego state, it's an ego idea, it's a concept that is held on to. And there is a difference between those who are holding on to that concept of I am and those who just are. And that is what I address. That is what actually the big, the big battleground or the battle is about. It's a war, actually, it's not even a battle. It's a war against a spirituality which... which is an ego game masquerading as a Truth experience. And it is being taught by many, many modern spiritual masters and traditions and it's a, it's a misrepresentation of Advaita Vedanta or also true oneness traditions of the Western world. These are misrepresentations, they are training the ego to detach from, from the pain rather than to transform because detaching is much easier than transformation. When that state of surrender is continuous, there is no this surrendering to that. That is a way of expressing it. It's just a surrendered state. The word surrender is not a word one hears very often. And even when one hears it, one hears it in the context of statements like surrendering to the fear, surrendering to the emotions. No, it is surrendering to the Truth. It's being in a state of surrender where this is an instrument, it is functioning and acting from an impulse which is the Truth impulse of the whole system.